When you think about making money as an artist, your mind normally goes to selling your original art or taking on art commissions. And whilst these are great ways to make money as an artist, they aren't the only ways and they might not be right for everyone. In today's video, I wanna talk about why I personally don't like taking on art commissions. Hey everybody, my name is Kirsty and my aim is to help you improve your art so that you have the confidence and skills that you need to start a career doing what you love. This video is actually the start of a new series that I wanna do here on my channel, a series of more chilled out discussion-based videos where we just discuss a topic and I get your feedback and your opinions in the comment section. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about art commissions and more specifically, why I am not a big fan of them. Funnily enough, commissions was the first way that I started making money from my art. I was about 16, 17, wasn't very good at all. In fact, I will try and put up a picture of the actual artwork that I used, the exact piece of artwork that I used to promote my services when I started doing commissions. As you can see, not very good at all. I'm very surprised people were willing to pay me to create artwork like this, but they, they did. So it shows that you don't need to be an amazing artist to get started. And so I was about 16, 17, I just wanted to start making some money from my art. And the way I went about it was I started posting my artwork on local Facebook groups for places around my area, just locally. And I just put up samples of my artwork and I charged a very low fee and asked if anyone wanted pet portraits or family portraits doing in like acrylics or just graphite charcoal, really low cost art supplies. And I got a lot of initial commissions. I think I probably did about 30 or 40, maybe even 50 around that age when I was 16, 17. And I definitely learned a lot and it was a great experience. I got to learn how to talk to clients, take references, deal with payments. And I definitely learned a lot through all of those commissions. So I definitely don't regret doing those commissions, but I learned that commissions wasn't right for me and I really didn't enjoy them. And there's three main reasons why I didn't enjoy and still don't enjoy doing commissions. So let's go through these three things and I want you to keep them in your mind and use them to try and decide whether commissions is actually the right way for you to go if you wanna make money as an artist. The first reason I didn't like doing commissions was the pressure that I felt. So when you are specifically creating artwork for someone else, it puts a lot of pressure on the artist because you wanna make it really good for them and you want them to really like what you've created. And when you're no longer creating artwork for yourself, when it's someone else that's relying on you and waiting on the artwork and expecting something and paying for it, then that's a lot of pressure on you to make it 100% perfect and so the perfectionism inside you may take over you may start thinking oh god what happens if this isn't good enough what happens if they don't like it you may start overthinking stuff and it can put a lot of pressure on you as an artist and you may also not like the fact that you don't have full creative freedom over what you are creating you may have to work in really strict guidelines and a specification of what your client wants and you may also have to work against a deadline. If it's for a birthday, an anniversary, a wedding, anything like that, then you have got the added pressure of having a specific deadline to meet. And if you don't meet it, you are letting that specific person down. You are letting your clients down. So there definitely is an added level of pressure when it comes to taking on art commissions for clients than it is just making your own artwork and then selling it after Afterwards, because the, normally the person has already paid, they've already paid you and they are expecting something and they've got those expectations set and they've got that deadline set and it's up to you to meet it. So you have got that pressure of fulfilling what you have told them that you can, that you can do. The second reason why I personally don't do art commissions is because of the time that they take. So commissions themselves take up a lot of time because there is a long process from getting your client to shipping off the artwork and finalizing that sale. So to start with, 
you've got to reach out and find the clients and then once you have found a client that's interested you've got to answer their questions and also get a reference from them you've got to do a lot of back and forth about exactly what they want and then you've got to create the artwork and once again do a lot of back and forth making adjustments until your client is fully satisfied with the artwork you have produced and then finally you have got to package it up ship it all off and then make sure that your client has received it and so it is a long process and it is very time intensive and it is a very active revenue stream and what i mean by an active revenue stream is it's basically money that takes a lot of time and effort to be generated each time so every time you want to make a sale and a commission you have got to create that artwork do that back and forth with the client and it can get very time intensive and there's only so many of them that you can do in a day and if it takes up a lot of your time doing commissions and working on artwork for your clients then you might not have a lot of other time to focus on other tasks that you've got to do for your art business. So for example, if you have a YouTube channel or you want to post on social media or do a lot of email admin, if a lot of your time is going on commissions and working with your clients on those commissions, then you may not have enough time in the day to get all of your other tasks done. And I think this is one of the biggest reasons why I don't like doing art commissions. And it leads on to my third point in a minute. And it is just because of how time intensive they are and how much they sort of suck and zap your time away from doing all of the other important things that you need to do to grow an art business. So this is why I wouldn't personally base my art business entirely on art commissions. It's always fun to sometimes do one here and there and take on a client or really fun commission that you're really excited about but I wouldn't use art commissions personally as like the backbone for my art business just because of how time intensive they are and let's get on to the third point because it leads in and that is because of scalability so my third reason why I don't do art commissions is because of scalability and that basically means that it's really hard to scale your art business if you're doing commissions because like I said you only have a certain amount of hours in the day which means that you can only take on a certain amount of commissions so if you want to grow your art business and you're just doing art commissions it can be really hard to start to grow your revenue because you, you can only take on a certain amount there becomes a ceiling where you don't have any more time and so you can restrict you might restrict the amount of money that you earn because of doing art commissions and of course you can always raise your price but there's only so much you can do that as well i do know artists that have got a very successful art business primarily through doing art commissions but i do think it's hard to really earn a lot of money if you're just doing art commissions unless you charge a really high amount for them and you can be really choosy with your clients so for example, it would be really hard to take your art business from 10K a year to 500K a year just by doing art commissions. No matter how much more you charge, it's not gonna allow you to easily go from 10K to 500K. You could probably go from 10K a year to maybe 30K a year or a bit more. But I'm talking about only if you're doing art commissions. Of course, if you add in some other revenue streams, like you sold an ebook or a book, or you sold a course or something, then that could bump up your revenue. But I'm just talking about purely making money from your art commissions. There's only so many you can do, and there's only so much time that you have, and so much that you can charge for them realistically. Now you're, you might be thinking, Kirsty, well, 500K is unrealistic for any artist. You know, I'd be happy with 20K, I'd be happy with 30K. And that, that's great, but it's not unrealistic to go from 10K to 500K with different revenue streams. It might be if you're just selling your original art or just taking on art commissions, but there's loads of other ways that you can make money as an artist that would actually quite easily allow you to scale from 10K to 500K. 
Personally, about three years ago, I was making 10K a year from my art business and I was also working a full-time job at the same time. And now since those three years have passed, I earn 30K per month. So I definitely know it is possible. It's just down to personal preference. Some artists don't care about money and they find it really satisfying working with clients, creating art for them and you know, seeing how much they enjoy the final result of getting that artwork and cherishing it. Personally, it just isn't for me. I am much more interested in helping other people reach their art dreams and improve their art than I am actually creating art for people, if that makes sense. I'm much more interested in the teaching aspect of being an artist and helping other people reach their dreams. I'd love to hear your opinions on commissions in the comments section below. Let me know if they are something that you love doing or something you'd rather give a miss. And also let me know any other topics that you'd like me to discuss in videos like this. If you're focusing on starting your own art career, then your next step is to check out this video that I did on 15 ways that you can make money from your art. So check it out and I will see you in the next video.